My name is Josh Perky, former basketball player at Marshall University. I currently still coach the game of basketball. Today I'm here to talk to Ryan Taylor, James Kelly, and John Elmore about some of the things I see in the stands every game that maybe somebody else may not see. Just last year knowing we were uh, down a little bit. A work in progress. Yeah, a work in progress. Uh, I knew Coach D'Antoni would depend on me a lot and my teammates last year. So uh, I just tried to go out every day, make everybody better and make myself better. And um, this year it's just, it's, it's much easier. I mean, I still do the little stuff, but not as much as I do last year. Um, I still push the ball. Dan Tony gives me the freedom to push the ball up the court. Um, I still make extra passes and uh, when they need, to, need me to take a game over, I can still. But uh, we have a true point guard in John Elmore this year. Um, a two guard that can be a point guard if John's in foul trouble or injured and Stevie Browning. And um, Calvin Burke, C.J. Burks, he comes off the bench. He's a terrific player off the bench, a freshman. And uh, me and James Kelly in the front court, uh, it makes it tough for a lot of teams to guard, especially if they have traditional bigs that don't like to come out on the perimeter and stuff like that. Tell me a little bit about uh, what what the best aspects for you as a point guard playing in this playing in this system. Um, I've kind of been fortunate growing up playing for some good coaches. I played for my dad a lot in travel ball and Coach Green my senior year and. Uh, Always the kind of basic principle of the offense was running the high pick and roll. So coming here and playing in Coach D'Antoni's system where I get to come off the pick and roll almost every other play has been awesome. Uh, I'm used to it and I've learned a lot about it from him and the other coaching coaches on the coaching staff. So I'm very fortunate to play in a system that's this fun and fits me so well. I mean, how much fun is that freedom to have as a player? Um, it's awesome. It just it fuels you because you know you're not going to get yelled at, and you know that even if you do mess up, you're going to have a chance to make up for it sooner or later. So uh, to have that freedom and the free will to just kind of play our game and do what we do out there is you couldn't ask for more from a coach. Uh, from a player standpoint, that's exactly what you want is the free will to play your game, and he gives you that. It's a fast, fast-paced offense. You know, just keep the ball moving. That's how we get our open looks, just keep the ball moving and stuff like that. But uh, I really like it, you know, because like you said, it's like the NBA structure. The other night there's 8,500 people here, and I, you know, I grew up in this community, grew up mm -hmm. watching this whenever we were a basketball school. Mm -hmm. Talk about how much fun and the energy and, and the feedback you get from fans about, about your all style of play. Uh, they love it, you know, they, uh, they just have you to bring the excitement back into Marshall, you know, uh, especially that with the big crowds and stuff like that. And like when we go to middle schools and stuff, and uh, like even when we go like when I go out to dinner or something like that, people still congratulate us and stuff like that. But I really like it though. I coach a middle school team locally, and in between waters and drills and stuff, the kids are out there shooting and playing around, kind of like you guys are out there now. Uh -huh. Some of my guys are going James Kelly for three, Ryan <laughs> Taylor for three. That hasn't happened in a while. I've been around, you know, I work with a lot of kids, work with a lot of youth teams. And that has gone on the wayside because it's now football, but basketball is coming back. Yeah. I mean, how, how good is it? How does it make you feel that, that you're bringing part of that back to the, not only to Marshall, but to the community? It feels good, um, especially when little kids do stuff like that or like either like mention me on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or something like that. It just feels good. Like I'm, I'm a role model to like other people and like kids and stuff like that. After hearing from three current Marshall players, now you have a good insight on what it's like to play for the Thundering Herd.